Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Gemini's full moon energy reading for the upcoming month of November. This full moon will peak tomorrow, uh, November 19th. And the full moon will eclipse in the sign of Taurus moving into Gemini. So let's tap a little bit deep. Let's tap into these energies here, Gemini, deeper into these energies, see what we can see for you guys. In this message, we're going to look into what is no longer serving you in the present moment. We'll look into how to release this energy, Gemini, and where this is all headed if the advice is followed. I will clarify throughout the message. And I will also keep, pull a few cards at the end for advice guidance moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining. So let's see here, Gemini, what we can see for your guys' upcoming energy. Most important message here for Gemini Spirit. What does Gemini need to see? There's an energy, a lingering energy of resentment. I feel here, Gemini, you have been in this process of moving forward. You have been going through a healing process. Currently, the past is still holding you back. I do feel like this is an emotionally charged reading. Okay, a lot of you, this is a connection, a relationship from the past that this person had betrayed. Okay, they maybe even manipulated you into doing certain things that you otherwise may have not have done if you didn't think that you were going to be in a relationship with this person. And I feel here, Gemini, that even though you have been moving forward positively ever so often, something pulls you back. Okay. And even though you may not consciously be aware that you still think about the past from time to time, ultimately, I feel here an energy of you being easily triggered in certain scenarios. And so going along this healing journey, and if we don't do the proper healing, we don't take the time to fully understand the situation and come to terms with those things, both the positive aspects of our experience as well as the negative aspects, they can hold us back. I do feel here from time to time, Gemini, you do look back on the past with a lot of regret, a lot of sadness, and this is definitely holding you back, okay? There is an energy of balance. This the angel of the ocean this card this is temperance in this deck it's called the angel of the ocean it talks about healing it talks about balance okay and what i feel here gemini a need to kind of focus on the things the people places and things that make you feel stable and secure and releasing the things that make you feel uncertain or question all the time, okay? So let's clarify this energy for you, Gemini. Now, please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here are general, meaning they're not going to resonate every time. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title, there's something going to be in the message. For information on ex extended versions to the readings, energy cleanse kits that are offered, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here every month for free personal readings. It's all linked below in the description box. And Gemini, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here and it does help to set intentions for future messages. Clarifying this page of swords energy, Gemini.
there's a need here to change your perspective on a situation some of you may currently be in a situation that is triggering you and you're being called to release this specific situation and that's going to be for a specific person that's not going to be for everyone now one thing i will recommend gemini is no more looking back on the past only forward thinking okay and so with that being said if there is a person place or thing in your life that really makes you think about the past then there may be a need to kind of take some time by yourself to kind of move forward okay and gemini you may not want to do this but it's maybe a need for you to be honest with yourself in the present moment some of you the warning signs have been cautioning you Focus on what makes you feel stable, what makes you feel happy, okay? What makes you feel solid, what makes you feel secure. There's somebody that's coming back around in your life that you have a deep connection with. And this, for a lot of you, is a twin flame union. I am going to start a twin flame reading if that's something you're interested in. But I do feel like this is a person that's coming back around who you have an intense connection with. And in the present moment, you may, may be avoiding this union. Okay. I do feel like your intuition, your guides have been guiding you towards this person. And they've been trying and trying and trying. And you have not been broken yet. Okay. But I feel like things are turning around. Things are going to start turning around, Gemini. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice, guidance, moving forward in the present energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. If you find the message is helpful, resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel and getting the message out. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all freaking amazing. I'm not going to do an extended version. I don't do extended versions to these full moon readings. These are specifically for YouTube followers. So Gemini... Your advice, guidance, moving forward here, Eight of Wands, Ace of Cups, Death Energy. By the way, guys, if you still want to get entered into the drawing, you're more than welcome. If you've purchased an extended version already, another way to get entered into the drawing is to comment or like the video. So go over to Vimeo and check that out. All the information is in the description box of those videos. There's going to be a conversation that's going to be had between you and this person. And I feel here this person has made some significant changes. Okay, there's been some significant changes. I feel here, Gemini, you've also gone through some significant changes. So holding on to this past energy is no longer serving. However, I feel like you've been resistant to this connection moving forward and may still be resistant in the present moment. There is a need to shift your perspective on this, Gemini. I feel like this is your person. A lot of you aren't going to want to hear that, but that's what it is, Gemini. It is what it is. So I'm going to get a four truths message out here. We haven't used these cards in a, in a while. Sum up your reading for this eclipse release thank you guys so much for all the love and support again thank you for liking and subscribing for those of you that this message is resonating with you need to release something in your present energy that's really causing you conflicted feelings any confusion and for those of you that this is resonating with you're going to know exactly what i'm talking about Take some time with this energy, okay? Sit with it, but then it's time to move forward. The blessing message here is don't take anything personally. Love and respect yourself. 
You're never responsible for the actions of others, but you are responsible for you. If someone is not treating you with love and respect, it is a gift if they walk away from you. You may hurt for a while, but your heart will heal. Beautiful, beautiful. So Gemini, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.